Hello everyone, welcome back to my video series on embedded system. So this is uh, Digital Electronics Part 3. Now in this video, I'm going to uh, look at uh, latches, registers and computer memory. Latches and registers are basic building blocks of computer memory. So what is a latch? A latch is a digital electronic circuit that is capable of storing one bit of binary data. In other words, it's a one-bit memory element. There are four types of latches. Um, SR, which stands for set reset, D for data, J and K, uh, there are a lot of debates as to what J and K stand for, and I'm not going to go into get into that. I'll just leave it as it is. The uh, J and K, and finally T for trigger. Now, a register is basically a group of latches connected in series. Similarly, the computer memory it, uh, is a group of latches. Now, in this video, I'm going to just focus on the D latch. Um, so, the D latch basically is capable of uh, storing. Sorry, let me just erase this. Um, so, yeah, so the D latch is capable of storing a one, logic one, or A logic zero all right just one just one bit of information okay now the D here as we have mentioned earlier is data and the E here is what we call an enable all right those are the two inputs and we have to outputs Q and Q bar. Q and Q bar are basically complement of each other, meaning, let me get a different color. If uh, Q is a zero, then Q bar would be a one. And if uh, Q is a one, then Q bar would be a zero. So they are opposite of each other. Now, usually I would uh, ignore Q bar and only refer to, to Q. All right. Um, okay, let's see how this thing works out. So when E, the enable is a one, and so we when E is, an, uh, is a 1 and D is a 0, logic 0, Q would be 0. So the D latch is said to have stored a logic 0. All right. Now what happens if, let me just take this out and get my pen back. Uh, we put D as 1 and maintain E as at the logic 1. So logic 1. Um, let's take this out. And in this instant, then Q would be a 1. So the D, the D latch now is said to have stored a logic 1. All right. So let me clear this out. What happens if E is zero? Now, if that is the case, then it doesn't matter what this D is, the Q would maintain its present input. Let's assume the present input is a one, then there will be no change. If, if E is set to a zero, X here stands for don't care. 
don't care. All right. So it doesn't matter. Which, what that means is it doesn't matter whether it's a one or a zero. As long as e is zero, nothing will happen. It will Q will maintain its present uh, state. Okay, so that's the D latch. Now you can connect a series of these D latches as an example here. There are four D latches connected in series. All the enable inputs are connected to one common point here. And the D0, D1, D2, D3, they're left individually. And the Q and the output Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, they are, they, they are maintained as the output. And notice I have not included Q bar here. So this is a 4-bit register. Remember, a register is basically a group of latches. Now, if you have watched my video on uh, adder, um, I explained the operation of 4-bit adder. I've repeated the 4-bit adder here. Now, in that video, we added two 4-bit uh, uh, number and the, we got the result out on S0, S1, S2, S3. But we did not store the result anywhere. So what we could do here is to include the 4-bit register that we have described earlier and connect it to the outputs of the 4-bit adder. We can then now store the result of the 4-bit adder into this 4-bit register. Right? Now, we could also look at uh, in this example, an 8-bit adder with an 8-bit register. Now, most uh, microprocessor, microcontroller would have uh, 8 bits or 16-bit or 32-bit. So that's, that's how they are uh, connected. Now, finally, we'll come to computer memory. Uh, let this block here represent the computer memory or the we could call this a computer the memory space in this memory space we have a collection or a group of memory location and each memory location is capable of storing 8-bit information um, and each location, each memory location is made up of, as we have mentioned at the beginning of the video, is a collection or a group of latches. Now, before I end the video, uh, just, uh, just to mention, each memory location in the uh, memory space would have what we call a memory address. Now, this could be, uh, it could have an address of uh, F, B, F, 2, H. H stands for hexa. All right, this could be the address of this particular memory. And each of this location here would have a unique address. Uh, we'll come back and talk more about this in, uh, in my later videos. Uh, we'll explain more on memory location. All right, so that's all for this particular video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.